my here, look, Coco. Matt and Chris, I am absolutely podcast. This guy is on <laughs> one second of Coke. It, it, it is one second. Immediately, he's so yacked out. Yeah. And the cops are following him, and it's unreal, and dude. He he's in slept, Florida. He hasn't slept in 70 days. He's definitely in Florida. <laughs> Runk. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's making me so uncomfortable that like the really sensual thing you're doing at the end. Like when you go, uh, like it, it sounds very like personal. Right. Yeah. I, I don't like, I like my singing. I know, but I don't like that because <clears throat> I get da, da, da. Yeah. That, that <laughs> I get you're doing that for the audience. No, like, I'm doing it for, honestly, I'm doing it for me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm the only one here next to you. So it seems like you're doing it for me and that's why it makes me uncomfortable. Well, I'm just get it. I'm getting it going. Yeah. That's not the right song to sing when you're getting it going though. La da, what is that song? Stevie. What? That's Stevie. Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. What's the What's the name of that song? Uh, La da, da Oh da. yeah, it is. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. I I don't know why. It's my Sharia more. My Sharia more. There you go, dude. I don't like. I don't know why. Uh, that song is stuck in my head. Literally haven't heard it in years. You think I heard it in the background I somewhere way, way, way long ago? think about this all the time. Yeah, me why too. Why so do, do we get the songs stuck in... The, the ones we get in our head, why do we get well, them Well, because we hear them. Maybe not, though. What? Right. Well, so my question to you is, did I hear that somewhere even quickly passing by and I just didn't realize it? Because that could very well be true. That could be And it. that would be in my head. But I also that feel does like happen. the brain is really mysterious and weird and things pop into it like... By association. Because the other day, you know what was in my head? For no reason. She moves in mysterious ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So worried, you know? That's all. (laughs) (laughs) No. Bono's never worried about anything in his life, but yeah, the lyrics would imply. He's definitely been just he's worried. He's yeah. definitely been worried about where sunglasses were sometimes. <laughs> or the, he's like, oh, yeah, right, 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 my eyes. Um, he definitely has someone who manages just his sunglasses when he goes on tour. That would be so awesome. I, I, I oh God, that would be so awesome. If you had crazy, crazy money, what would you ha- have? Uh, like, what People would you spend for? it on? Yeah, or or just yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I like a, actually th- like a chef. No, I maybe a chef, probably a chef. Mm. But something I've specifically always thought I wanted was I. I hate to sound like a boomer, but I hate these, mm. and I want someone to follow me around mm-hmm. who has it mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. And every time there's an alert that I've given him a specific criteria that are deemed worthy of alerting me for, yeah, he gives it to me. It would be, he would be giving it to you all day long because we text so much. Or she, but yeah, you guys wouldn't be on priority, dude. You would just I would. you, but like the lifeline thread might right. not be, you know. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Wow. Really? You've thought about this? I've thought about that. Yeah. I would have a like sh- stupid money though. Mm-hmm. Not like. Uh, well, I mean, that's honestly. Not, not if I had like eight million dollars. I'm talking about like a billionaire. You know. If you were Larry, uh, what's his name from Black Stone or whatever it's called, Black. Not Larry Black Ellison. Stone. Black Wall. What Black the hell? Rock. Black Rock. Is that Larry Black. Ellison? No, Larry Fleck or something. What the hell is his name? Uh, age? No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, well, I would have, for sure, um, chef yeah, and chef driver. Is easy. Oh, really? You love driving, though. I do, but I would still have my driver. Like riding in the passenger seat? Hey, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, we're going to go this place now. I do love driving. I do actually love driving, but I would still have a driver in case I just didn't want to. You know Interesting. Yeah. The, would, the, would the driver like live at your... In the, in the car. In the house? Like that you... In like, the car. Outside. That, some drivers like... I'd make them sleep outside. Have their the families car. live on the premises of the wealthy person they... Uh, that's so weird, yeah. You're like, you ever seen the movie Sabrina? I mean, it's on the uh-huh. movie, so you probably haven't seen or it. Top favorite films. <laughs> that's a remake, but yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. But did uh, they do it in the remake too? I don't know. I don't think I ever saw the remake. Okay, well, the original one. Well, the original... Here's the thing about Sabrina and other movies Don't like remake it. that movie, right? 
Well, I guess it, it made money. It sucks so. ballissimos. The, mo- the song. The, 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 um, wow. Sorry, the, the, the movie. The movie. There's definitely a song called It's Sabrina, just a okay. huge classic, but yeah. let me tell you guys something so uh-huh. you don't have to waste your uh-huh. time if you want to go uh-huh. back they and watch anyway. old movies. There's no way. That's cool. There are many great old movies. Sabrina, one of the more famous ones, isn't good. It sucks ballissimos. I don't now, like... Why would you re- remake a movie that sucks <laughs> ballissimos? No one knows. Well, you'd make remake a movie that sucks ballissimos to make it good. Right, but here's the I thing. I think that that's a good idea. You're like right. Like what they do Eleven. Ah, you're right, but here's the thing. Uh-huh. The William is, Holden and Humphrey Bogart who are, are always going to be better than Harrison Ford, who's good, and Greg Kinnear. Okay, fair enough. Big mistake uh, to ever put Greg Kinnear in well, movie. Sorry, Greg Kinnear, I love you, I, but you're uh, not like you're not William Holden. You're not a leading man. You're not even cool. Uh, you're like a funny guy that's around in the I mix. I think that Greg Kinnear is a really good actor, dude. I think he's a really good actor. I mean, what? What, what, what was he good in? Talk so? Soup? I mean, he's fine. No, he. I think he's really good. He's good in... Um, as good as it gets. He's really good in that. He's good in Does Stuck he... on You. You really thought he was part of Matt Damon. <laughs> Stuck on You is funny. Yeah, you're right. I'm kidding. Yeah. I don't know. He about had a that minute, movie. though, that he was like the lead in movies, and there was he had the weirdest not career. a good reason. He yeah. had the weirdest career. He went I mean, from he talk, talk soup yeah. to movie yeah, yeah, star. Insane. He was the first guy to kind of ruin everything, you know? Oh, wow. The first guy um, to ruin everything. Greg Kinnear? <laughs> yep. That's a hell of a. F- it went Sir uh, Mix a lot, then. Then why, Greg Kinnear. Why, why are you throwing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I just thought of a silly name. But yeah, Greg Kinnear. He's a great actor. Okay, okay, I, I think he's got Oscar in him. I guess I chose the wrong guy. Yeah, dude, so watch your mouth. I'm in the wrong company to start uh, no, but, on Greg Kinnear. But Sabrina is... I am a big... I do not watch movies that are a, a person's name. I think that's that's a huge... It's going to be a lazy movie. Uh, it's you know a huge cop-out. I there's There are movies that are just someone's name that I like, that but are I good, always hate yeah. that too. I don't... Oh, oh, Sabrina? Yeah. Who the fuck is yeah. Sabrina, right? Yep. Well, we'll find out when we watch the movie, I guess. But also, I that doesn't make me want to watch the movie. No. Because I don't know who that is already. No. Why Explain would, why, something about Sabrina. Sabrina and her. Or you know, just the thing that is about her. And then you, when you see the movie, you'll say, oh, that's someone named yeah. Sabrina. And she has these qualities. Yeah. Why? Well, we don't know anything from the title. The worst is when it's a full name, though. And well, the no, last name? Honestly, the worst is when it's just a first name. Dude. I disagree. I think it's worse when it's a first and last name. Like what? Michael Clayton? Terrible title. I mean, well, it's a great movie, actually, but terrible I, I, title. I get it. I know. What about, um, you what know else what? is I there? I feel like they arrive at that when they've exhausted. When they don't have, yeah, exactly. It's so yep. stupid, though. There's always a better title. Always. Always. And the title, if it's a name, is so, it's just so bonkin' lazy. It's also so boring. You made it. Someone made up that name. It yep. means nothing Cha- to anyone. Yeah, dude. You could change the name, period. Dude, it could be change anything. It and dude, change the whole thing in the movie. Michael the name. Clayton could be Pierre Wilson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they could name the movie Pierre Wilson. And it would be the exact same amount of good. <laughs> the title would make the ima- same exact amount of sense. But it would just be his name in the movie is Pierre Wilson. Dude, I met somebody the other day. I can't remember. Pierre if Pierre is a sick name, though. I can't remember if I met them or if I knew them already. But they actually said... That Michael Clayton is the best movie they've ever seen in their life. You know what? I've <laughs> I've spoken to people that really that think that. I did yeah. not know it was that good. Well, I, most people don't think it's the best. But movie so, ever. but the fact that somebody there thinks people, Michael Clayton is the best movie of all time, I was what I was like, what? I can't. I wish I remembered who it was. There are absolutely people really? who, who think that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, right? I only saw half of it. Oh, why would you do that? I mean, that's actually a genuinely good movie. Did you see the part where they? Uh, spoiler alert killed tom wilkinson <clears throat> no but he's such a honestly you talk about good acting he's never been better than he is in that movie really and the the scene in which they really they he's like mm-hmm. there's like a hit put out on him but because he's he won't shut up and mm. he's babbling about mm. the lawsuit that that's this company's guilty for yeah man yeah uh, like got. a monsanto st- type company yeah, that did yeah. bad stuff and yeah, he's yeah. like telling the truth uh-huh. and they can't have that yeah and no, they can't so all in one shot uh-huh. they break into his apartment uh-huh. and kill him and take him out and it's like so Whoa. crazy like uh efficient well it's oh, just wow. really upsetting you know? oh really yeah you know when someone think about when someone yeah. dies all dramatic in a movie you yeah. can, it's so distant yeah. from reality that you can watch it and be entertained when someone just is like yeah it's so much more upsetting because you know that's how it, it happens i you know? know dude i yeah. i saw a thing once where somebody got shot in the head it, like uh, uh, you know it was the thing i didn't even mean to see but it was yeah, like right. dude they just they don't there's none of like this shit no no no, no. they just go 
they completely go it's crazy they collapse yeah yeah oh gosh dude enjoy your sunday yeah that's no but it's just so bad how about people who like watching faces of death i know i don't like that at all if i'm gonna get shot though and i see it coming i'm gonna jump back to make it more cinematic while Uh, i get shot i'm gonna jump up above the bullet so the bullet doesn't even hit me oh you could jump we and you did yeah, that and yeah. you still got shot and your last word was we <laughs> well i wouldn't um, say we if i was getting shot up yeah, yeah 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 yeah. you might say we gotta go if it was you and other people there yeah maybe uh-huh so don't count you don't count it you know you never know right oh man what you want to go you want to get into a thing i do i'm thinking about sad things now i need to get into oh all right well let's here. do the thing yeah. let's talk about it here Hey, how's it going, Chris and Matt? Uh, I, so I was the guy who called in the other week about yeah. the sundials at Goodwill, buying stuff from Goodwill. Oh, yeah. I, the only reason I said that, Chris, is because that's your joke. You used to say that uh, you would always buy sundials for people's birthdays. It is as a like a joke. Like if somebody said, oh, were you getting like someone for their birthday? You would say, oh, I'm getting them sundial. That's the only reason I said that. Yeah. I did Just wanted that. to clear that air on that one. It's uh, deeper, but okay, I'm calling in because I have this issue regarding license plates. And people will get customized license plates on like Teslas or soccer moms yeah. do it a lot. You know, like yeah. if they have a family, they'll put on the bag like PTY of five, right. like party of five. Uh, we get or it. if yeah, they're okay. a Tesla, they'll put like sun powered. This really annoys me and I don't know why. And I would like to hear y'all's input. Customized license plates. Should we be doing this? What, what do y'all think? Uh, yeah, I, I think that they're unless like there's exceptions, right? Like don't get customized license plate if you're a soccer mom. Like, that's just, what do you do? That says soccer mom, you mean? No. Like SCC, Just like if that's what you do and you cart kids to school and back and forth, like, no, don't do that. If you're a businessman and you have a convertible, Mm -hmm. you can get it, dude. I couldn't couldn't disagree more. Dude, you, you know what? You actually don't even know that you don't believe what you're saying. I haven't said anything yet. Bro. You said you disagree with me and you agree with me. But I haven't said my thing yet. Okay. Which is that. It's not okay if you think your license plate makes you look cool. It's not okay if you think your license plate is funny. It is okay if it says something really dumb on your license plate. No, dude, you. I was right what I said. Okay, you but I'm right. How, are, how can we you both You right? agree with me, and you just don't even realize it. What does the businessman in a Corvette have on his on his license plate? Like, if a guy drove by in a uh, like. <laughs> A Z3 Roadster. Okay. With the t- you know what that is? Yeah, I know what a Z3 is. Okay. Because I know about cars. <laughs> okay. okay. So and 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 it was and it said something like, "Bizman, okay. you Biz would man. love it." Yeah, but Bizman isn't what I thought you were gonna say, dude. What'd Obviously, Bizman. If the guy knows it's stupid, the problem is you don't know if that guy no. thinks it's cool or not. If he thinks it's cool, it's funny, but it's not. I get he's it. He's asking something else. Though. I get it. I get it. Okay. <clears throat> if like, I mean, no, that's not a that's not a good example. Bizman for someone else, but I mean, Bizman, I would laugh at for sure. Yeah, be, oh, oh, the guy says shit. We'd be but, like, we got to take it. Dude, please, can I get that only other seat in his car? But thinking about the actual person, he would probably suck. So terrible to be around. Oh yeah, that's true. There are a lot of cool people. Not even cool. That's the wrong word. There are a lot of people that will will walk by or drive by and you'll be like oh my god look at that guy and you like kind of are excited about them that you realize will be terrible uh, terrible hanger outers yes for sure yeah i don't how many friends do you have um i mean that's tough like people i what's a friend like, uh, that's uh, a good question i would say my instinct is to say a very close group smaller amount yeah. but and that's not true i mean so I know so many people that I'm in touch with a lot mm-hmm. that I consider Bragging. my friends. <laughs> so so many, just endless amounts. Mm. Nobody's ever had more friends than mm-hmm. someone like me, you know. Yeah. Um, no, I'd say good, good friends, like 50, 10, 15. Yeah, cool. I would probably say around the same, but I don't count. I'm your brother. No, you don't count. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. But I'm a good friend. I would yeah. be. But still, ten, fifteen, because there's a five person th- thing there, so it could swing from ten to fifteen. You, whether you're in there or not, wouldn't really make yeah, that much I of a difference. Yeah, same. Shit, man, you're good at math like that. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, I don't. I, I think for a general rule, no, I would never get one. Would you? Yeah, no, no. I guess no, I would not. Okay, no. all right. Okay, next one. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. Um, love both of y'all. Uh, blah 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 blah. Cool. Feel about how much you guys have changed my life. Cool, Anyways, cool, cool. um, that's a cool two kitchen. things I need advices on, and they're both work related. 
One, my coworker eats Panda Express every Ooh. single oh, fucking dude. day. He comes in with his Panda Express, his orange chicken, no, reeks up the office of orange chicken. How do I get to stop? It smells Two, so bad. I work in a three-story building. People from the first floor come up to take a shit in the third floor's bathroom. What do I do about that? Oh. Please, I'm tired of smelling stank ass shit. Oh. It's awkward because they don't even... Women are weird when they poop. Why do women not make any noise? Like, I know what you're doing in there, Sandra. Fucking silently sitting in there for five ass minutes. So weird. Anyways, what do I do? Thanks. Just, love you. Bye. And, and I also suck on Mattel's crank. Oh, cool. dude. That is uh, a great length of video submission. Right it there. is. And it's also two. And she fit two in there. Yeah. And it was really good. What was the first one? Uh, uh, Panda. Dude. Yeah. Get, but honestly, bring a loaded gun to the to work and just slide it over to him and be like, "Here, use that on yourself. It'll go much quicker." <laughs> yeah, I mean that's You're the thing. killing yourself. That's dis that's so disgusting. Express every day is fast food. I do not care what. Anybody oh yeah, says. well yeah, of course. People don't think but, of it like that though. They think really? of it like a rest dude. Yes, absolutely. But it's also fa even fast Chinese food. Yeah, no, I know that's disgusting. Yeah, but dude. so is all fast food, and that is particularly disgusting. I knew it. I knew a dude that uh, ate fast food three times a day. And he'd be like, yeah, I just eat th fast food three times a day. I just like it. And I'm like, that's not good. Did he, he know like, it wasn't good? He just didn't care? He was fat. Well, did he know that that was why? Because a lot of people know. don't, dude. That's still not a, an, a, an entire population understood thing, which is crazy to me. And then another time, and then that guy was friends with another guy. You know who it is. I'm not going to air him out. But I was like, he hadn't had sex for so long and he hadn't dated for so long. And I was like, why don't you just like, maybe you're, um, maybe you're uh, uh, ugly. No, 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 no. Maybe your uh, threshold. What do you call it? Maybe your sex drive. No, 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 no. Like when somebody is shooting too high, maybe you're, maybe oh. you should. Oh, okay. broaden your horizons like, broaden broaden your no like you're, you're going out you're trying for two hot chicks you're shooting above you yeah okay yeah, yeah whatever yeah. that is god damn it what the fuck is it <laughs> i don't think there is it i don't think that's a thing no it is I can't. it is punching, punching above your weight either. yeah but not that 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 is a way to say it yes okay, but that so, isn't what i was going okay, for okay so punching above your weight but hold go. on maybe you you need to i think that's what he's thinking is well, punching above your weight no that's not what i'm thinking that's not what i'm thinking because he said it Oh, if you know it, say it. I don't know. Because he said it, oh, and then I said you don't it wasn't know it. that. Then you don't know it. A, car, a fucking uh, guy at, the, at an auction. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you're, maybe you should, maybe you should, Stand, God. Standards. Yes. Whoa. What did he say? Yes. What did he say? Maybe you should lower, not have such, you should lower your standards. You should not say, yes, dude. Okay. You redeemed yourself. You still like the Terrifier movie, but fuck yeah, yeah. dude. You still got bad taste, but yeah. Still got bad taste in films, but fuck yeah, it came through with the lower. You lower your standards, I said. On the way Me over here, I saw a Terrifier sticker on a car. What, no. When? On the way over here, you saw a Terrifier sticker on the car? It's yeah. spreading. Yep. What if you looked at a car and it was a guy? <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. Um, no, he's, right. cha he's chasing him down, trying to honk at their attention. Dude. So he pulls over, <laughs> becomes friends with the only other person who likes Terrifier. Okay, go. Um, so, so, that's so stupid, <laughs> dude. I mean, not more than one people, more than two people like it. You I know? mean, I know. You yeah. Know. Okay. So don't. All right. <laughs> Everyone so, knows that. Yeah. Okay. It made a bunch of money. So, um, <laughs> so he and then he said he got so frustrated. I was like, because 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 sometimes you might meet somebody you're open to. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty, but who knows? And then you become more attracted to them. Of course. That's that what, but that's what I'm all saying. To him. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I've told you this, but he said, I I, I will not hook up with some standard bitches. I will not oh, hook up with some standard God. bitches, wow. dude. And oh, I, I couldn't. Know who you're talking about? Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like he was so frustrated. And I was like, it was crazy, dude. Wow. That I will not hook up with some standard bitches. I will not hook up with some standard <laughs> bitches, dude. That's how he said it. I mean, he needs. Yeah, I know. Deep to, therapy. Yeah. Wow. So. Oof. That is wild. I can totally see it. Too. Yeah, wow. and still not going out, and still not going out with anyone. He will not. He will not hook up with substandard bitches, though. I Bitch, mean, that is I don't his like thing. Him. Yeah, the yeah, no shit. You don't like him. Yeah. Who likes that? How old yeah. was he when he did that? I don't know. Was Thirty-eight. An, an adult male. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Unacceptable. Yeah. Um. Well. So that was funny when that fucking happened, and I stand by it. And uh, I think that honestly, if you eat panda, exp that's dude, that's terrible. If that's her question a, was, what do you do about it? I think you actually have the right to say something. 
I think you're disgusting. Just say, and also say it smells. It smells really bad. The, it's affecting it smells my really work. Bad. Can you go to the first floor? Yeah. Because other people are coming up to the third floor to take. You know what you shits. do? Send them back down to the first floor. You know what even you do? it out. You know what you do? It already smells in the bathroom. Go eat the Panda Express in the shitty third floor bathroom, and just you know one stop shop for smelling badness. Right, but who? I don't think that guy's going to be down with going to, into the bathroom that smells like shit to eat his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you know. How is it in there? You're pissing. How's the food? Um, <laughs> so hold on. Yeah. And I, I feel like, well, that's, I don't, how about dude, there's people that go to different levels to take a bath. I, I want to focus on that part. It's because so, that but is, that's a thing though. But what it is, bro, you know, you remember where you, I'm gonna go upstairs. I got to go to the bathroom. Who does well, There's that? a bathroom right here. Who does that? Oh, I have clear memories of people doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't, our uncle did it once at our house. Uh, well, I guess they do it because I think they think it's going to smell. Right. Okay. But I do it wherever the, the closest bathroom but is. If you do that and no one is, at the, if if you do it where, if you want to go to a different floor of the domicile in which you are currently don't say domicile, but yeah, existing mm -hmm. with others, mm -hmm. and there's no one else at that level, it's a scientific, right? yeah, then that's a respect thing. I can understand if there are people on that level. You're just making other people smell your shit. It's not better. It's still making, like, that's actually ruder, I think. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it's like, like, if they were going to go to the third floor and nobody was on the third floor, of course that makes sense. That's respectful. If you're going to go to the third floor, there were just other people there. I'm sure if she thinks it's annoying, other people notice it. So when that guy comes off the elevator, as soon as you see him, tell everybody before him, have everybody go, Oh, here we go. That's a good idea. That, that would be awesome. Shaming in this instance is a, in this is a instance, very viable, yeah. a very viable option. Yeah. That's a good idea. When he gets off the go. elevator, ding, if you know the person who shits, ding, this person's going to take a big shit. It's going to smell really bad as they walk by going to the bathroom. I mean, yeah, that's a little more aggressive. What, what, what did you say? Oh, here we go. Oh, but that's not enough. He'll get it though. But then, then, you, then you, you got you got room though to go somewhere. <laughs> okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You do that. You see what his face looks like. Okay, and if yeah. he still does it, yeah. then you go. Oh, here comes the shitter. Guy's gonna shit in our fucking third floor. Right. You probably can't get rid of for that. He's probably doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Honestly, if the company really thought about it. Yeah. Or is it a different company on the first floor, which would be crazy, mm. dude? If it's like a Coke and then a Pepsi on the top, and it's just part of the soda wars. Hmm. And the guy's eating Panda Express, too. All sorts of fucking bad I mean, shit. Panda Express is just disgusting, dude. Yeah. Tell them they're disgusting. Ah, man. Hey, you're disgusting, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're I disgusting. mean, I would. If I knew the person well enough, I would. It's not the same person eating the Panda Express that goes up. No, because that, that's no, the no, person no. That she works with. That person's also okay, cool. on the third floor. Cool. All right. Well, we figured it out. And we're, you're welcome for the advice. management about the shitting, too, if you want to. Yeah, or just go to HR and say he's molesting you. Make everyone... Put up signs and say, please do the dookies on your own floor. What if that was the sign? Throughout the course. <laughs> Everyone remember, dookie on your floor is accepted and only that on the elevator. I mean, it's worded so terribly. <laughs> dookie on your floor is only accepted. <laughs> is accepted on your floor and only that, I right, said. Right, right, right. You did say that. Okay. All I can do is shit. All right. Next one. Hi, Matt. Hi, Chris. Hi. Chris, Hi. I've been a baby for a really long time. Matt, nice. <clears throat> I think I'm just in love with you. Love so, hey. Okay, no, here's my situation. I live alone, but I have these really cool downstairs neighbors. Um, and good. I know for a fact that they smoke weed every single night. Uh -huh. And th we're cool. Like, we've exchanged numbers and stuff. Sure. Um, but my question is, can I text them? to like smoke weed with me sometime because oh i do i don't smoke often like them but i when i do want to smoke weed i don't want to do it alone but is it like crossing a like an apartment what neighbor boundary question. like does it make it weird if they don't want to and then like like i don't know what you know they don't want to come question. out of their house or something <sighs> let me know i'm just like chris and that i think everyone hates me until like i know that they don't yeah, yeah. uh so yeah. So uh, I would love your advice. So Thank she, you. she, she basically, it's not that she wants to even. What a lovely person. Be higher, smoke weed. Yeah, she certainly seems like it. But she. Um, has doubts, has doubts. What? Has doubts. Seems like <laughs> no, it. what if she just closed the computer and then she just goes. <laughs> um, no, but she, 
she just wants to like partake in the time, you know? Like totally. she's like, ah, dude, that sounds fun. Just smoking and token and hitting that fucking, you know what I mean? So S chocolate tie, just taking a little puff of that sticky icky. So if you know? I'm smoking weed, ooh, damn, with that the purple person, good shit. Okay, you know. Okay, but I'm with just saying it's better if it's, if it's purple. It means it's good. If, if I, the, I've heard that Justin McKinnon told me that when I was younger. Wow, Justin McKibben was smoking weed when you knew him. He knew about weed, yeah. Wasn't it McKibben? McKinnon. Jordan was a slime. Wasn't that him? <laughs> That was him, right? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, yeah. God damn, dude. Have you talked about that? Marco, do you know about that? You know about yeah. Jordan? Yeah, of course. With the slime? Yeah, yeah. Jordan with the slime? Dude. Oh, well, I mean, obviously only from you guys. I yeah, didn't yeah, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We weren't there, dude. You know? Because uh, it wasn't um, a national... Yeah, yeah. Story when it, when it happened. Yeah, yeah. Jordan McKibben with the slam. The Daily a, News and Justin McKinnon well, in Moncton, New Jersey kept saying Jordan and with the slam. I was just ten year old in New Jersey. <laughs> Wait, wasn't it McKibben? It was fucking McKinnon, dude. Why are you saying it like that? Because I already said oh, it you clearly. Did. I didn't know you answered. Okay. You fucking kidding dude, me? Dude, absolutely get. I absolutely take it down. <laughs> you're too mad. <laughs> you're absolutely what? You're just too mad though, dude. I, I, you're, you, too, you're too mad though. So hold on. You asked a question. Didn't listen for the answer, or what? I did, I did, but you asked. I thought you skipped the I answer and just, asked him about. Do you it's know? It's McKinnon. Too? Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's McKin <laughs> Justin McKibben. No, no, no. And, okay, okay, okay. And and he would. Uh, and he, and we were. It was his birthday, and I went. Everyone's gonna sleep over. I didn't sleep over because I, I I didn't want to sleep over. Because you were scared. I was scared at that moment. I would get scared. <laughs> yeah. Because he loved Freddy Krueger, right? So. Oh uh, Him and Chris shit, Siegel. They like Freddy Krueger. What kind of story comes yeah. out? So, um, Chris Siegel was kind of smelly, right? No. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. I'm thinking of somebody. Died. <laughs> Died. We okay. hit a Bernie. So, um, <laughs> so, so he said, uh, so we were watching on his birthday, we were watching the Bulls play. Cool. And he loved the Chicago Bulls. I remember that. He used to wear Jersey. Jersey yeah. For no reason, he loved the Chicago Bulls, you know? Like a fucking jackass. A lot of people were like that. The Bulls were, were a thing. The yeah. Bulls were a and thing. And the Cowboys even were outside a thing. Chicago. Kind of Cowboys in the '90s. Both yeah. of those teams in the '90s, people could be like in Alabama, being like, "I love yeah, the Bulls." I like know. for no Steelers are like that too. But anyway, um, mm. so what? Nothing. Irish. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, so he. So we were watching the Bulls. The Bulls. Yeah. Starting to laugh. And so he <laughs> the Bulls. And he said he, he Jordan did a thing. You know, either slam dunked or was on his way. And he's like, Jordan with the slam. And nobody did anything about it because he was just doing it. <laughs> yeah. And then he just did it so many times. Every time Jordan got the ball, he would just say, Jordan with the slam. Damn, that's cool. And there were like 12 people there. And I was like, all well, right. No, I didn't have anyone I could lock eyes with and be like, what the fuck is this guy no doing? I think it's said anything about it. It's probably the first time I ever thought about looking at someone else and being like, what the fuck is this guy right, doing? You right, know what right. I mean? I'm so young. Jordan with the slam. Dude, how did I. We did it. How insane is it? How I am so blessed, and I mean this, okay. that I went to that party for that memory that has lived with me yeah. for uh, 30 years. And I have been doing Jordan with the slam for 30 years. That's and it more. has brought me joy. More than 30 years, really weird. And I would love for Justin McKinnon to reach out. We should have him on the show. I think I tried to find him once. God, oh, what's going to be he doing Justin now? McKinnon's probably, there's probably like Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. But um, yeah, dude. And I think Quadir was the only one that was like, this, he keeps saying Jordan with the slam. I don't but remember that's it. Quadir. Quadir was really, really tiny guy with glasses. Damn. Yeah, I don't remember him at all. And I he remember was black. Most of your His friends. name's Quadir, but yeah. I remember most of your friends. Teddy. Omar. This guy's really I haven't cool. thought about Teddy in so long. Teddy was the man. Omar, 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 uh, Omar Pitts. Now Omar, there was Omar Pitts. I'm talking about and Omar Holt. Holt. Omar Holt. I still, I have kept in touch with up until last. I mean, this is so boring for everybody, but anyway. No, let's go through everybody. What about <laughs> Teddy Chandler? Teddy Chandler's younger sister, Tatiana, was in my grade. <laughs> and Kevin uh, Nelson. Okay, let's go to the next one. No, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. We didn't oh, even no, answer. We didn't, a we question, didn't answer. Dude. Okay, cool. All right, that, so, the next guy's on coke so much I can't yeah, even believe for it. Sure, yeah, I can't sure. believe how much the first second of that guy was on so much coke. It's unbelievable. And so and stay tuned for that. Being chased by cops. In his car. <laughs> <laughs> while he made while he made the video of submission and, it's not, and the submission the advice is nothing about that yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. all right cool so this woman so what do you do about pancakes and then you can't hear if i'm smoking weed with the person i live with and a oh yeah neighbor, we didn't even answer it and a neighbor that i like texts me and says oh i can smell the weed can i come over and smoke with you i'm all about it i'm super stoked i'm happy i say yes come over and it's it's more fun because that person's there. So this is a good thing for her to figure out if somebody actually really likes her, you're saying. Right. If the so person, if I don't like the person, I not only am like, oh no, I'm like, 
oh, I feel like intruded upon. I feel like I can't smoke anymore. And they're gonna smell it and know, and they're gonna want to come over. It's a big it's thing. A, it's like it's like a big leap, basically asking them to do it. But the thing is, if they're down for I it, know you do. They really, really l- will be happy about you joining them. If they're not down for it, they'll be like stressed out every time they put a joint to the lips. So it's a judgment call. I'm assuming they like you because you seem like someone that is generally liked by people. So my guess would be, yeah, ask them. They're, but ask them like in between sessions, right? Like be like, I've noticed you guys smoke. I love to smoke. Ask me over next time you do it. Don't do it while they're stoned because that's the other thing. You could freak people out when they're stoned and they could be like, uh, uh, is she a narc? Is she a cop? This Not what, paying attention at all. This is what all, you do. I can stop that. Car. I was trying to think of something. This is what you do. You legit don't do any of that. Next. No, I'm kidding. You, 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 you just, you don't ask. They, they're, you're downstairs neighbors. Open your window and just. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then go pause it and, and reach out the window and say, what? Okay. And what, say, yeah. what? What's, what's, say, what's oh, sorry. On? I thought you said something. And then? No, I didn't. I No. That would definitely, I would understand that as, oh, would you, um, do you want to come smoke? But that would be so roundabout and so weird, dude. <laughs> even if you did, even if the person did understand as you're su- suggesting. Now that I would get. <laughs> and then close it. What? Yeah. No, nah, I didn't say anything. I just oh oh, what are you guys doing? Play this out. We're just we're just hanging out, smoking weed. Dude, that's so funny. I was just playing Bob Marley. I love I love I love weed. That's fucking hilarious. Anyway, dude, I'm gonna go. Oh and no, you don't, you don't have you to don't, go. No, no. Oh no, no. Okay, see ya. Good night. Good night. You planted the seed. Right. Next time. This time, take it. Take it for the team. The next time, they go. They they light it up, dude. And then fucking. Do you do it again with a different song? Dude, light it up. When they light it up. No, dude, no. This is all wrong. All you do... Here we go. When they light it up, just... Yeah, all these hip-hop songs in the 90s start with something else. Yeah, dude, that was the thing back then. Um, the Chronic. Uh, that was so Doggy Style. here's the deal. You don't have to ask them while they're stoned. Mm. Ask them next time you run into them or yeah. just text them during the day sometime and be like, hey, next time you guys smoke, I would love to come hang no, out. Join- no, yes, dude. No. Absolutely, yes. Even because then they'll still, they still may be, oh no. You could still feel, I oh know, no, but I'm you're put- giving them the chance to not feel intruded upon by being like, hey, I smell it. Can I, I come down? But I know, but if you say to them, hey, dude, do you guys want to smoke weed tonight? Yeah. That might be good. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Oh, be. we were gonna do it anyway. Come on down our house. Could totally do that. Yeah. Or that nah, works too. Yeah. Nah. And then if they smoke anyway, then they know that oh, it's just their thing. Fuck yeah, dude! I come up with great advices, dude. I mean, la da 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 da. What, what what's that song name? That's the one I wanted to use. I never know that song name, dude. That's uh. It's the it's the it's the D O double G. La da 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 da. Ding dong ding. Let's just keep going until we get the title. Ding dong ding ding ding. The it's next the episode. next episode, yeah, dude. On the Chronic 2000, right? Yeah. Case the case of next uh-huh. <laughs> episode. Is it really? He's probably wrong. Oh, there we go. Dude, that's what it is, bro. Hey, dude, they start smoking weed and just open your window. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Uh, dude, as soon as you smell it, dude. I used to freestyle that song in high school. There's nothing whiter, <laughs> honestly. Isn't that hilarious, dude? Yo, yo, dude! One time with Mitchell, we were we were freestyling, and he goes, he what goes, the fuck is and Mitchell? one of his lines was, oh, oh, "Babies is the labies, dude." And I, I had to pull over, bro. Babies is the labies. I wow. had to pull over. You know, when you get so caught up, you just start. Yeah, dude. He said, "Babies is the labies, dude." That's really funny. I had to pull over, and that is another. Jordan with the slime. I yeah. always think of it, dude. Yeah, pulling out two of them right now. Fuck so, yeah, dude. I love those things. You never know when they're going to happen. Uh, you don't. They're the best I wish thing. more of them happened, but I guess that's what makes them so special. Exactly. Last yeah. one that happened, I don't know. Sometimes they need time to gestate. For sure, yeah. You know? For sure, for sure, for sure. The surfer. I remember the last one that happened. What? I think. What? Was it this? Look at this. Some. Was it that one? 
No, no actually, no, no. Was you know that, that one recent. I, I think so. <laughs> we, we maybe have talked about that. So My dad. <laughs> we were. Playing, what was the game? We were playing. I forget the name of the game. <laughs> it was something like Taboo or whatever, though, Dude, where you get a card and it's the thing you need to convey, <laughs> and then there's the words <laughs> under it that you can't say to try to convey it, right? Yes, and, yeah, and my taboo. dad got magician. Mm -hmm. And he was like... Because uh, uh, there's a clock on it. There's a clock, he had to do it quick. And he, <laughs> and he couldn't think of it fast <laughs> enough, so he just... He goes, he goes uh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It was... That's good. It was absolutely... Oh, dude. Hilarious. Oh, at that same time, he hit his fucking foot too, which yeah, was great. Yeah, that was that oh, was. Oh god, same. And he tripped yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. families, dude. Yeah. Oh, we, what a what a time. What was the last one you had? Think about these back at home. Oh, a guy I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do I know about this one? No. Oh man, I love when I know a about. Guy it. He I know told me. was talking about how uh, on set he's a guy that works in crews on movie sets. Okay. And he's talking about how. He people get like close to him, too close to him sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And he says, and he, as he's relaying the story to me, he's like, <laughs> he's like, and I'm just like, get out of my rice bowl. <laughs> what? And I, and I was like, I was like, wait, what does it mean? What did you just say? And he was like, uh, get out of my rice bowl. What I was, does I was it like, mean? I was like, what do you? <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, man. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, you know, like, you're someone's like up in your rice bowl. I guess it kind of makes sense. I was like, like, you got I your own think bowl. Chill that's out. That's racist, though. Oh, maybe. Well, like, it, I mean, if there's an Asian trying to interrupt you, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like you what, have to pick something what, else. Why are you adding in an ethnicity? Just get out of my burrito, but make right. sure there's no Mexicans around. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, why are you adding? Get out of my pizza. Get out of my. Get out of my, get out of my space. Just say that. Rice I like bowl? rice bowl. I'm gonna do rice okay, bowl from let's now. Okay. Get out of my rice. Get bowl out of my rice bowl. On, yeah. I guess a rice bowl isn't necessarily an Asian dish. There's rice bowls for all kinds of cuisine. But why rice? Get out of my cream of some young guy. But, but why rice? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Isn't that a Wayne's World? Guy? Yeah, dude. Wow. Remember Wayne's World? Cream of some young guy. <laughs> wow. Dude, Wayne's World is it's hilarious. Just, I know, dude. Wow. Oh, fuck. Remember yeah. when Rob Lowe would do the thing and he spoke the thing? And he's like, I, I speak Cantonese. Remember that? Yeah, dude. He, God damn. We're, 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 we're off the rails. But yeah, yeah okay, that's yeah. good for the weed thing. Real quick, yeah. we should have people send in... Those They're things. things. Those oh, things. I'm afraid good. that they won't be that good, but like, because you you really need to be there for the thing. Yeah, but yeah, but I'm afraid they won't be that. It. People need to sell it if they're gonna sell. They it. really need to. If sell you're gonna it. do it, do it, but sell it. Yeah, don't just be someone we'll that's like one we'll time. I, they could do it. Yeah, Some yeah. people will okay. pull it off. Yeah, yeah, you might as well send them in. All right, cool. Now here's the thing. Before we get to the next mm. one, I'm in the middle of a root canal. Oh I yeah. Got my first part done on Friday. Got my last part done yesterday. My next parts, my last parts, doing Thursday. But guess what? Today, I'm in immense pain. All right, let's do the next one. <laughs> let's do the next one. Dude, what? Why is there three levels? It's oh, not oh. a video game. No, it's because it's because they can't do it all at once. It's like too much to do. Uh, Time-wise? No, 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 no. Although that would be a lot. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. How long were you in this? <laughs> uh, about two hours both times. Crazy. Dude, I'm in immense pain. Are you, what's the pain level with your mouth? Right now? Yeah, I can get you some oxygen. If I'm content. just like this, three. If I'm talking, five, I'm eating. Brrr, like wow. hitting the top of the thing. I can yeah. get you some oxycontin. Dude, I mean, rice good, bowl is a though. thing. What? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> rice bowl is a thing? Oh, I yeah. got the giggles, bro. Is it? Yeah. What does it say? It says, a task performed by a specific individual group a, or a protected job, project, program, etc. Oh, well, then why and didn't you explain the, yeah, it better? An example. I don't need Jim. I can change the tire myself. But, Bob, you got to get Jim, let Jim fix it. That's his rice bowl. Oh. oh. Why so didn't he, he explain it he, better? No, he used the term wrong, though. He's not even he using it. He didn't know no, what the like term he is. Did, though. He, no, it sounds like he was doing the right the right. Get out term. of my rice bowl because you're talking too close to me? That's wrong, yeah. That's well, wrong. unless, yeah. Sorry. you oh, know. If he, if he meant, you're saying if he meant it like get out of my domain. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, right. He's in right. my job. Yeah. Right. Well, he certainly because didn't explain he was that to me. Pain. So, but, but maybe he doesn't know how it's used, and he knows it wrong, and he just does it whenever. That's extremely. But kind of seem... Knowing him, that is extremely likely. Right. Got yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Uh, great guy, though. <laughs> wow. What was I going to say? God damn it! I had about, another about thing. About my root canal or what? Right now, I can get you some oxygen. Right now, about a five. I'm good, man. Thank okay. you. Because it's addictive. Highly addictive. It, it is. And yeah. there's a huge thing going on 
in 1996 to like 2000. I mean, it's kind of still it's going on. It's hugely still going on. It turned into fentanyl, on. but yeah, but OxyContin was the thing. It's hugely it's heroin. still going it's on. It's heroin. Fentanyl is a hundred times, uh, no, a thousand times stronger than morphine, which yeah. is even stronger than OxyContin. Well, OxyContin How is, is that hundred times even possible? OxyContin is a hundred times more potent than morphine. So Really? Yeah. Damn. Uh -huh. And so they... Oh, dude, I, cause I've been watching the thing, you know? Uh. Oh, actually, everything on it. Like, I watched Painkiller, then I watched Dope Second, then I watched the documentaries, I saw all the shit. But, man, it is so crazy that they thought... Dude, there's a time release thing. It's, yeah, I know, yeah. And yeah. they were like, well, the good thing is the dose doesn't go into you. It goes into you, it releases as you need it for right. 12 hours. Right. But, dude, you put it in your mouth and you swallow it, and then it releases. Dude, people were just snorting it. Yeah. And that obviously that's a way to get beyond it. Okay. Is that obvious? I guess I wouldn't. It I is once somebody decides to do it and then they just spread the information. Right. Okay. Yeah. You well, know, the company's new. They, yeah, dude, no, that shit. Right. That blows my mind, dude. Okay. But you know what I mean? Honestly, OxyContin. But we're doing this now. Though, and I'm just know? saying, but OxyContin is crazy how that shit went spiral out of control. Now Correct. it's fentanyl. Yes. Dude, did you ever see the videos of the cop that are like, let's see what we got here. They open a bag and then they're just like, are those real? I, I hate to, when people say that, but I've seen that and I don't know if those it's, are real. Boom, a fentanyl, a little piece of fentanyl go like, it's like the uh, forest gum feather. You just at the park. Playing with your kids. Why is Dude, this in die. Why Just is this a in Forrest Gump? You know? <laughs> Why do we blend those together? Why are like those together? Feather. I know, I know what... Well, what else the floats? The bag in American Beauty? You can pick whatever you want. But, dude, a fucking dope fiend, dude? G in the park, in a library, three... They don't even use libraries anymore. Three blocks away. This guy over here outside the kookaroo gets lucky. Yen, dun, 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 dun. Just talking to his friend. That Kids is not... on the swing. Yen, dun, dun, dun. And they brush into it. Yen, dun, dun, dun. That's not dun, what dun, happens. Dun, dun. Dude. You know what I mean? If that happened, it would never be made ever. Well, you know? <laughs> what happened to my kid? It's not going to happen guy to your did kid. Fentanyl three blocks away outside the library. <laughs> No, a, a milligram of fentanyl can kill you, though, for sure. See? If you don't use it ever. If you've never used it before. Well, a kid never uses it. Uh, your kid? A kid. A kid. A kid's a not going to... Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. That's not what happens, though. It doesn't float through the air and then go into his nose and then he dies. <laughs> this, is not, this is not a thing, you know? It is a real Admit scourge. Admit that the guy at the Kukuru would get lucky, though, if that happened. Yeah, it might get lucky. All right. All right, next one for real. The guy in the car mm -hmm. getting away. Mm -hmm. Here, the, the cocoa. Matt and Chris, dude, I dude, absolutely my God. Okay, pause it. I'm dude. Dude. dude, this guy is on <laughs> one second of coke. It, it, it is one second immediately. He's so yacked out. Yeah. And the cops are following him, and it's unreal, dude. And he he's in Florida. Slept, he hasn't slept in seventy days. He's definitely in Florida. <laughs> seventy hours. Sorry, seventy days. <laughs> seventy hours. <laughs> 70 hours is incredible. 70 days is incredible. It's all incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he has coke on his lip right there. Yeah, he does. All right. I'm at the beach, so don't judge me. Uh, but anyway, I had a moment today that made me laugh. And I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are rubbing off on me for sure nice. through the podcast. Um, there were these two women that were, like, talking really loudly, having this I killed them. private I killed them. conversation. <laughs> but, like around everybody else talking about money how much they're making wow. the drama at work all this stuff that's like you know you at first i was like oh i'm gonna like try to not listen and then i was like f that i was like i'm going to i'm gonna listen harder now mm -hmm. i'm gonna get closer yeah i'm gonna i might even chime in yeah you know what i mean i might even oh really really eighty thousand. oh crazy that's mm -hmm. that's wild you know what i mean and i was like this is something that maybe Chris and Matt would do. So anyway, it, maybe the question would be, what do you all do when people are talking and having like private conversations in public? Mm. Thanks, guys. He, uh, you you rock. Here. So hold on. So this guy, did he actually say stuff to them? Him? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, no. so he just got closer and listened. So I understand that. Also, I cannot believe how much he would be in fucking movies in 2002. Yeah, with that face, well, you'd be bro. A third lead, you missed in a, it in an indie 
about like kids who in a by movie mistake, with Seth Green. No, in a movie with Seth Green. By mistake, ended up driving a car f- with drugs in the trunk. Dude, wow. That's the and, and crossing the border. That is the most. <laughs> that is. Yeah. That is one of the best calls ever yeah. on Lifeline. That's and, unreal, dude. And Scott Con would be in it too. That is unreal. <laughs> that is un. <laughs> That is uncocksucking real. That <laughs> that 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 call. That guy would be in a movie. Yeah. That would. Oh wow, in dude. Two thousand three. And so many flannels movies. in that movie. Yeah, but yeah, dude. Yeah. Puka shell. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. He, you know he didn't even have a puka shell necklace on, but he did. Yeah, basically, I you know? agree. Yeah. So what do we do? I I mean I I tell you what I yeah. people that I'm with get really annoyed with me. Because I'll be like shh, 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 to them, because I want to listen to the people uh, that I don't know that are being too loud. Yeah, I've been. And I too. find I actually completely understand why they get mad at me for that because that is so annoying. Mm-hmm. If I'm talking and someone tells me to shush yeah, that because annoying. they want to listen to strangers, I would be mad too. But I, I can't help it. I love, 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 love listening to strangers. I have binoculars at home. I spy on neighbors. Okay, I kind of well, that's illegal. No, I have it is illegal, mm. but they've never caught me. So mm, okay, I'm you sure. do the math. Okay, I live in a house that's kind of like looking down. <laughs> okay, this is illegal. Into like not a canyon, but the homes are like beneath yes, me right. in a, on on the streets below. Mm-hmm. I'm just like this. Okay, so it's illegal. Looking into windows, looking into yeah. bedrooms. You have a telescope? No, I don't want to get a telescope. Okay, well, too clunky. You got to be able to run. You got to be able to run away. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> I mean, you know, sexual. Fuck. <laughs> what was what was that? You know, when you let, let the tripod down with the thing, <laughs> <are, laughs> the air comes out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dude, and well, then yeah. you run into the fentanyl and you die. Okay. So, um, I guess, oh, there. You know, sometimes, you know what I do? That is the truth, and this is just like that is when I'm in line Mm -hmm. and there's somebody that is too close behind me. Okay. Because it happens. Uh We are like, what? This person is so close, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I back up very slowly. Yeah, that's good. Into them until I'm touching them. That's good. And I wait for them to move. That's good. Good job. And and, it's good because it's, it's not really that confrontational. It's effective, I'm sure, but it's not like turn around and say hey excuse me can you back up That's i want in my fantasy i want them to be like what are you doing and then you do what and i say oh i'm sorry i didn't realize you were so close that's good yeah because then they get it they might get it on the ride home like oh fuck i was too close i love that you're counting on them getting it and that's what you like about i it. have a fantasy this is above any sexual fantasy above any victory fantasy above any career fantasy i have a fantasy i have a fantasy that i think of all the time oh boy okay and i won't stop thinking of it because i can't yeah okay i get that yeah my eyes fall upon oh some man's shoes and i like them i like his shoes okay and i catch them and i'm watching and i look at his shoes Mm -hmm. that dude walks up to me and says Yo, man, what the fuck are you looking at? Right. And then I say, oh, I was just admiring your shoes. Uh-huh. And that's the fantasy. That's it? Yeah, that's the whole fantasy, bro. I think about it all the time. What is the... What What even is that? Because it's, I want that guy... Oh. ...to think that I'm a... Like, get pissed off and then realize he's the asshole. I mean, if someone got pissed at that, they'd be such an asshole. I know. But then I compliment them. Even if you had something shitty to say. I always say... I was admiring your shoes. Admiring. I always... I'm gonna, you don't always say that. You've never done it. This has never happened. No, in to my you. fantasy, I yeah, always say that. I just that. want to be clear about that. Yeah. It's never happened. And I think about it... Do you go man, around staring at people's shoes? No, by chance? no. But Well, I mean, I, I, I definitely look at people's shoes because I like shoes, right? All right. So that's how no, the I'm fantasy saying, started. Then you should do that. You should try it out. Stare at people's shoes more. Even if you don't like them, just get that fantasy going. I don't think it'll ever be as good Working, as the fantasy. Oh, wow. Protecting yourself. Okay. <laughs> Protecting your dreams. I get Bro, it. Bro, I, I legit think about that at least, I would, a few times a month, I think about that. You're crazy. You're an insane person. Is that crazy, it's bro? Just, it's just not a thing. I it's know. Like it's that's not, not a thing. Yeah. People have fantasies of like having sex with twins and shit. Not me, dude. I mean, I, you know, I, 
I've had those fantasies. I've done it, but I'm just saying I haven't done that. But I'm just saying I haven't done the shoot. I haven't done the shoe thing either. No, well, and you get to stepping. I no one time was intended. in line. I used to love the sandwiches at Vons at the counter. This is a fantasy. No, this is real. There's a guy that was too close to me from behind me, mm-hmm. and then I was putting my stuff on the Vons conveyor is a belt. Yeah, and the guy that was too close behind me went like this, like they say, "This is my sandwich," and he went like this, huh? Oh, no. You got it at the counter. No. Yeah. Touch my shit. And You're I, kidding and me. And I couldn't believe it. I was so in disbelief. I, I hit it out of his hand. Really? Yeah, dude. Wait, I, how I, old are you? Oh, this was like, I was in my 20s. Okay, so hold on. So obviously the, the sandwich is wrapped up. Of course, yeah. But that's still crazy. It's still so crazy. That's so weird to touch something that like gives and is yeah, soft and like I, that. And I hit, it, I hit it out of his hand. I said, don't fucking touch my food. And and he if I fuck it was fucked up because he immediately went oh 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and I realized he like has boundary issues oh so you're and a I bad like, guy I like triggered him so yeah you're a bad guy yeah like he I was obviously autistic or something and you're a bad well, person I don't know what it was but something could have been Aspergers could he have been, didn't realize the boundary too much loops content. I didn't realize the boundary he didn't realize the boundary he was crossing yeah and when I did that he felt actually bad oh and then I was like oh. No, I'm sorry. This was like my instant. Oh my god! You know what Kristen would have done? Oh, here, have it. Have a sandwich. What else do you want to buy? Open for your you? mouth. Open your yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open it. Chew. Oh, bite, here, bite, eat, bite, eat bite, 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 here, bite, 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 Okay, I need advice. I'm starting school next week, and I'm already kind of nervous about it, but I read my, like, reviews for my professors, and my math teacher has horrible reviews, like, horrible. Every single one is, like, the lowest rating, and they all say she's really mean, and everybody fails her class, and she's just, like, not a good teacher. So my question is, do I go in like kissing her ass like do i bring cookies or something no or no. do i go in with more of like a don't fuck with me vibe i don't think the don't fuck with me vibe is gonna work because i don't really naturally give that vibe off but i don't know dude i'm just spitballing here so whatever you got please help go on with go in the uh, uh, room with sunglasses and be blaring this i mean the solution to everything <laughs> no see i don't know i don't I don't know why. I don't know what makes me this way. But when I read, rev- I'm not in school anymore. But like when I read reviews of a thing before I experience it for myself, you can review teachers. That's crazy. I always, always, always think these are not right. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, it is true though because so much of it depends on how you are. Yeah, it does. To right, get yeah. the person to react in the way that they're being described in the reviews. But what you're saying is very true. You cannot take an online review seriously yeah you can't do it even if there's yeah. hundreds of them you don't this could have become a thing and then people hate and then they make a thing and then totally yeah dude tr- truthfully so what i was what i would suggest is go in the first day like you would anything yeah yeah but you, pay close attention what can often happen is if you're aware that you know the teacher is usually hates her students or mm. his students or whatever uh you can if you want to be, be the one that they don't hate pretty easily mm-hmm. because you can just observe what they're hating about all the mm-hmm. other students and be a different way, at least in the 50 minutes that you're in front of them for. It's not hard to be a kid a teacher likes, you know, if you want, if that's something you care about, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I, mean teachers, like, so what? Yeah, that's when people were like, like when Ellen, everyone's like, take Ellen down. It's like, uh, why she's a mean boss dude bosses are mean almost teachers, all of them are mean teachers are, they, you know what i mean it's like yeah there are good teachers and there are nice bosses but dude oh well actually I w- sorry ellen's mean but i would say no shit she's mean we get no she's shit she's one of the richest people in the world of course she's, she's fucking super mean. famous of course she's mean exactly dude uh, thank you but and chill the fuck out but this is different because she's not trying to no, get no, the no, person fired i know i know i'm nervous i know i know uh i bet she's not as bad as the she's not. Like, you're making it. You're romanticizing it, and also, uh, well, she's not romantic. She's scared of it. Well, that, saying, romanticizing means just heightening it. It's not like she's gonna go in there and kiss her, sweep her off her feet. Hey, hey, hey darling. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I heard you're mean, but I don't believe any of it. Now is the word. Mush. 
<laughs> Here's some cookies. Wow. Here's an apple. Ew. Don't do that. You've done that before. I do it all the time. I don't want you to but do that's it. that's what you do when you kiss. No. I okay, mean, well, it is. But no one wants to see that. You know? <laughs> there are probably some people that want to <laughs> see it. Maybe some, but not most people. Mm. Don't look. I'm about to do it. Look away. All right, but I got to do this too because I don't want to hear it either. <laughs> all right. <laughs> see, hearing it's even grosser, to be honest. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. You're all right, man. It's going to be fine. And also, who cares if she's mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the work. It's about the work, right? Because here's the other thing, too. I, I used to get pissed off. Whoops. I used to get pissed off at hecklers. I used to get pissed off at them genuinely all right. during the show. Huh. And my friend was like, dude, careful with that because you're just exacerbating what's happening. It's, it's a ripple effect of... A negative of negativity for everybody else there right so like a heckler stands oh. up says something they ruin the show yeah me getting pissed off about it and i don't even mean putting it on a place but just having that in my head that yeah. negativity it's lessening the show for everyone yeah okay yeah. you i've got to drop that if i'm truly about it when they heckle i'm like do not do that you're ruining for everyone else if i'm truly about that life yeah then i got to be truly about the home life when i'm on stage but okay. also still killing right Okay, so many things, you know, so many lives to be about. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. But Worst advice. Don't like, I just don't go into it being a different person than you are. Mm -hmm. That's gonna get you in trouble in all yeah. scenarios. Always go in and be yourself. Pay close attention to the teacher, mm. and decide for yourself if she's gonna be a problem or he's gonna be great or whatever. The totally, fuck, you know. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be in Charlotte coming up here, and I'm going to be in Little Rock, Arkansas. And your boy's going to be in Knoxville and Nashville and Canada. Crystalia.com for tickets. So that's it. MattDelia.com for one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, your boy, Pimpin' Pimpin'. Get in there. Oh, make an appointment with me. Yeah. I will probably very likely save your life, but no guarantees. Okay, well, that yeah, maybe not. This is a comedy podcast. But uh, go to the Patreon, Lifeline Luxury. Patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. It's great. It's growing. It's awesome. And we do at least two episodes extra a month. Uh, and they've just been firing all over the place, man. They've been really just coming and blasting all over the place. Wow. Um, if you have a question, just click the uh, description. We got a hotline and also uh, go to the, the email thing. And um, that's it. We also have merch, uh, lifelinemerch.com. And that's it. I appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe, baby.